Alright, same build. And another bloody party streamer. Let's find a match. Okay, getting some higher numbers again. Couple med kits. Level 28, level 25, level 15, and level 5. I mean, we're almost level 3 now, so we're getting, making progress. A second set of bloody party streamers, and then slightly thick and dark mist. this map again. Ah. Uh, we'll check the distant ones first. They're more likely to spawn over here. Some decent coverage. That hurt something, but not sure what. Here we go. Oh. Uh, it's far away from where I'm at currently. way somewhere. I missed her. she go. with some of those results. That one's jolted. That was a quick rescue. Get this little kick. Far one. Uh, uh. A little bit of a jolt. There you are. Generators are dropping like flies. I thought that was one of the ones we checked recently, too. 
We might have been on our way to check it out and we got distracted. Right this way. move speed on this killer is, but half the time they seem like they can move faster than me. Get so much distance. she hiding? Or he. Whoever's repairing this generator. I think this is a different variant of the map than last time. I'm less fond of it. Yeah. Oops. That was a little overreaction. Yeah. 
maybe I'm not gonna get my 75,000 blood points. Not this rate. have to heal again. Ow. See, this scratch mark is pretty darn quick. Chase started, I didn't even see the person. Ah! This map sucks. Well, I can't blame the map, I just don't know all the paths yet. These guys are working really well. Yeah, they're gonna get a four person escape on me here. Escape gate, which is even all the way over there, which is ridiculous. Uh, this all seemed pretty well coordinated. Yeah, they're gonna be waiting over there, and then as soon as I get there, they'll leave. Great, can't deny that. Hey, I got my bloody rewards. I did not have much fun though, I'm not gonna lie. Could not chase anyone down. Now 
but no pips. But that's fine. Yeah, that was just hard. See what we have over here. And we'll claim those rewards. Five thousand blood points and blazing army or armor part of the night owl collection. His armor protected him from fire and burned everyone who dare touch it. Available in outfit Wildfire. Killer item, the Oni. Alright. And then from here... Uh, I think we go to this one. Outrun and overcome. In a chase with the obsession, damage three generators, walls, or pallets. While using the perk game afoot. Should be easy enough with all the pallets I eat. Spend our blood points. Alright, we replace Fearmonger with Game of Foot. Bring in a Survivor Pudding. And let's go. Alright, we got a group. Couple toolboxes. Levels are more reasonable. at the killer shack. Badham Preschool. Okay. I think this is where... Well, it might not have been our first... No, it wasn't our first survivor death. But we did face some Michael Myers around here. Oh, wow, these, uh... Big open spot in the middle where there's nothing, but everything else kind of sucks. Let's destroy yeah. this. that way. Start the I guess. track where they are. But we have an injury out. There he is. Some jolt value. Okay, they finished that one. Makes sense he hadn't been over there yet.
probably still around. Hoping some of these injuries slow them down a little bit though. Target. Or not. Don't know what noise I heard. Firecrackers. That was surprising. Also, don't know where he went. Oh, my goodness. Person is also our obsession. Where on earth are they? <laughs> Heard them, but couldn't see where they went. Oh my goodness, where how do they keep disappearing so easily? And there's not very many pallets on this map. Everything else is hard to see. I'm also breaking the pallets, and I'm not in chase with the obsession. Is not my goal. No generators over there, so that's not the place to go. Also, no longer my obsession, which is crappy because okay, this actually isn't working out the way I wanted it at all. I saw blood and then it disappeared. Everything disappeared right there. How did that work? Like all the scratch marks? Oh, that's not blood, that's why. Well, 
We have like no claw markers out right now. other generators. Ah! A lot of joke value there, I think. that or is everybody making noise simultaneously? More likely what it was. Sudden, it's fixed again, but I don't see where I fixed it from. Okay, that's the obsession. We might be able to get the pallet thing. If I get my challenge, I'll be happy. So he needs to lead me to some more pallets. Yeah. This might work. This did work. Okay. Here's a pallet. Ow, oh, don't run away from it. There we go. That works. Drop it. No! Okay, got our challenge. Thank goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness, that sucks. Worst part is I saw it coming. Like as soon as uh, he appeared on screen, I knew what it was. Yeah. These matches are getting tougher. something on this gate. Not that it's going to work very well because all these fences. We'll pop something on that gate. Injured just like a second ago. Yeah. I'm done with this. I'm getting stomped. They'll get their four person escape.
Get a few blood points for deployments and stuff. A couple of them I don't even think I saw. That was just bad. But we got our challenge. Let's go ahead and look at our challenges. Finally, a target worth pursuing. It's been a while since we had a good one, and this is a really, really good one. Former military turned private contractor, retired from the battlefield to a quiet hobby farm to the northwest. Some say he survived months alone in the forest with nothing but a combat knife. And he's got the one parcel of land that stands between Adriana and the factory she's trying to build. Weeks of talks go nowhere. He doesn't want to sell. Bigger numbers do nothing to change his mind. The board starts talking about selling the land surrounding his, to give up on the factory, to build somewhere else. They might be right, but that doesn't matter. She doesn't lose. She doesn't come in second place. So she goes to meet him herself, face to face. She mentions the offer. He politely refuses again. Mm, that's too bad. She hopes his will is up to date. As she leaves, she feels a flush cross her face. She overplayed her hand. A guy like that will be hyper vigilant now. It won't be easy to extract him, and it sure as hell won't be easy to hunt him. But as her mind wanders to the hunt, the nerves turn into excitement. She'll figure it out. She just needs to learn everything about him. Had the call back to second place. Kind of cool. Have one survivors with the claw trap go into an active drone perimeter as a skull merchant. Ah. Uh, shouldn't be too bad. As long as people deactivate drones. And then I can use one in chase and it should work, I think. Ow! Oh, oh, still have a killer bonus. I'm actually starting to regret that at the moment. But let's spend our blood points. Alright, let's set game of foot off. Put Fear Mounger back on. Actually, maybe Scourge Hook Monster Shrine might be better. We'll try that. It's been a little bit. The anti-healing thing doesn't seem to be doing much for me either anymore. Like, Jolt seems to be our main thing. But we'll give this a try. 
maybe the anti-healing is doing more than I realize if it takes them longer. The problem is lately we haven't been able to hook anybody. Oh, level 41. Level 20 and level 17. Level 20 looks like a Twitch TV. Or just has TTV in their name. So I imagine that's probably a group of three. And then the fourth guy just happened to be a random. So this could be tough. However, we have learned the numbers don't mean a whole lot. Other than they've played more than I have. But we're running in a lot of groups like that anyway, so I don't think it makes a difference. Escape cake and my survivor pudding. A couple blood point offerings. Please be a map that has some kind of visibility. Okay, nice bright map. Ow. Oh. And then all this corn to obstruct it. And it also seems pretty spread out. Hopefully my drones can see through the corn. There's somebody. Ow. Let's put a stop to this real quick. Yeah. Oh wow. That was bad. Little jolts. Oh, I wanted I got it. That works. Didn't even have to try anything fishy. It just happens. Hold down here. Is that Leon? He should be one hit KO. For the first gen, I think that's decent. Let's see how this one's doing. Scratch marks. That was pretty good. She knew exactly which way I was going to approach. I didn't even know. But I like that right there. Hi, Leon. I don't think I'm getting to this hook. They're sabotaging the other one. It's fine, it means they're not working on generators.
Yeah, this is fun. Keep them all injured, I guess. And eventually, they're not going to sabotage every hook, right? Leon's also one hitable again, wherever he's hiding. Oh, uh, he's already wounded anyway, so it didn't matter. Do some surveillance. I don't know if this is her last hook either. They've been kind of swarming in. But Monstrous Shrine might let her voice away faster. Except the yeah, other person went for the rescue. I expected that. Trying to find the healthy one. Spread the love a little bit, but. Okay, went for the rescue, makes sense. Let's put a drone up here. There's a lot of broken hooks. One, two. One of those, I think, was from Leon, dying. Everybody's healthy, but that wasted time. So I'm happy with it. Get your blind. That's something I'm gonna have to practice. It's so annoying that uh, I'm gonna have to use it. When I say annoying, I mean too effective. And I lost track. It's fine, just do some checking on my generators. Doesn't seem like anybody's actually doing anything with them. And then there's the far one, but that one's fine if they've completed. It's too far to patrol. I will try to go after some of them, though. Somebody's just standing in one. I'll take it. I couldn't look down fast enough. I'm 
have to see if he has something that makes him run faster when he has, uh, when he goes over the vault, because, uh, he definitely was moving faster than me for a second there. wasn't in a position to... Oh crap, they are in a position to finish that generator though. Flashlight save now. Let's go for this hook. I'll probably get the rescue. But if I can get this generator knocked or cleaned out. Nope. Oh, that was a mistake. Can't rescue if you're in chase. challenge. Yeah, when I can actually see a little bit, it helps. Thank you for the match. Wow. Spelled that wrong like four times. I did have fun, because I could see. Yeah, he did have something that made him faster after vaulting. Okay. I'm satisfied then. New challenges. Uh, we'll also activate this so that it gives us that. We'll have a couple collections at once. However, Let's head back to tier two. I think we can do this glyph, what's this, core memory challenge as well. We'll do the glyph seeker. I don't know what causes a red glyph, but hopefully it won't be too hard to find. Also, we have the final collection. Adriana looks into her new arm mounted display. Her drone floats 50 stories above the city, at the unfinished penthouse of a new luxury building her company invested in. Through its camera, she sees the soldier awakening from a chemically assisted slumber. She watches as he shakes himself awake, immediately alert and focused. He rushes to the edge of the building and nearly falls. Not like that, old man. Don't make this easy. She watches as he finds his bearings, stalks around the building, getting a feel for its blueprints, finds the combat knife she so kindly left for him to defend himself. 
and descends the first flight of stairs towards freedom. She knows the layout of this building like the back of her hand. She moves her drones into position. Of course, a soldier like him will have the wherewithal to avoid them, but catching him moving isn't the point. They're there to cut off options, to herd him exactly where she wants him. He'll know that too. That's what makes the game so fun. Two brilliant minds, each playing six steps ahead. Odds are, even if he'll never admit it, he lives for this too. She straps her blade to her arm, a gleaming silver edge inspired by her father's manga. One more thing to tie her to him. She remembers him reading to her every night from Adavalente. How singularly focused he was on his craft. It was the thing she admired most about him. She owed it to him to keep his vision intact. More than intact. Alive. If nobody would buy the Skull Merchant story, she would become the Skull Merchant. One way or another, people will know his story. All right. And that's... Like, it kind of... I don't know if these memories are slightly supposed to be out of order. But yeah, here's when she actually becomes a Skull Merchant. But... Some people... Uh, the Skull Merchant... Dips yeah, like this one here, she's the near retirement. Water. Number seven. That's the but this is her becoming it. Adriana. Also, looks like we unlocked a little video. That might have been a little too brutal for YouTube. Not sure. Let's see if I can get away with it, but wow. Showing her on the hunt. Pretty good. Also. Oh no, that's for the doctor. Doctor. We might be pretty much done with her uh, challenges. I can't see what four is. Releases in ten days. Okay. So I think the doctors who we're gonna be working on next, since we can already see that's coming up. We'll go back here. Try to figure out a commune with two red glyphs. But we'll finish getting to. Prestige 3, since we're practically there already. Let's go claim these rewards. Got Oryx Cells, Blood Points, and Manga Cover Volume 2. Another common charm. Speaking of which... I think we, yep, yeah, we have the second stage of this one. Little robots. Go back to our little lorry doll. Uh, nope, not what I wanted. Blood red. Let's finish getting a third prestige. There we go, prestige three. Which now means the following perks have been unlocked at level 3 for all killers. Not that I'm a huge fan of most of them. Now, 
the doctor. Another difficulty hard. Good to know. A madness-inducing killer who is able to use his power, Carter's spark, to trigger electrical charges, incapacitating survivors, and eventually causing them to hallucinate and scream in terror, revealing their position. His personal perks, overwhelming presence, monitor and abuse, and overcharge, encourage chases, impact survivors' ability to repair effectively, and make him harder to detect when not in a chase. Alright, that's what he looks like. Let's look at his perks. Overwhelming presence. Just knowing you're near is enough to disturb your victims. Survivors within your terror radius suffer from inefficiency. Affected survivors' item consumption rates are increased by 80%. Oh, that could be helpful. Get rid of uh, toolboxes and medkits and stuff. Flashlights, even. If they're nearby. Uh, monitor and abuse. Meticulous in your approach. Terrifying in your application. While in the chase, your terror radius is increased by 8 meters. Otherwise, your terror radius is decreased by 8 meters. And your field of view is increased by 3 degrees. Okay. And then overcharge. You are fueled by your hate for progress. Overcharge a generator by performing the damage generator action. The next survivor interacting with that generator is faced with a difficult skill check. Failing the skill checks results in an additional 2% loss of progress. Succeeding the skill check grants no progress, but prevents the generator explosion. After overcharge is applied to a generator, its regression speed increases from 85% normal to 130% normal over the next 30 seconds. I actually like the sound of a lot of these. Uh, but we have to get him to at least rank 10 before we can try for adepts. Blood web. I don't think we'll have enough. Oh, but we got survivor pudding right off the bat. Okay, we can bring two perks. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's look at the power. Carter's spark. Success. Oh, there's a lot to read here. Successfully striking survivors with the doctor's special abilities, shock therapy or static blast, increases the survivor's madness, eventually afflicting them with the madness status effect, and triggering increasingly potent effects. Madness 1 causes survivors to scream once, revealing their position to the doctor, slightly affects skill check placement and direction. Madness 2 causes survivors to scream once, and experience hallucinations in the form of an illusionary doctor. Moderately affects skill check placement and direction. Madness 3 causes survivors to scream intermittently and experience hallucinations in the form of an illusionary doctor. Tremendously affects skill check placement and direction. The survivor cannot heal, repair, sabotage, unlock, cleanse, or use items until they successfully snap out of it. When a survivor completes a snap out of it action, they return to Madness 1. So I think the key there is to get everyone at least to Madness 1 as fast as possible. Uh, special ability, Shock Therapy. Press and hold the power button to perform Shock Therapy, unleashing a ranged shock attack on the ground in front of you. Survivors struck by Shock Therapy gain increased Madness, and any interactions they are performing are immediately interrupted. Shock Therapy immediately negates the Oblivious status effect. Okay, so don't bring Oblivious type stuff. Uh, special Ability Static Blast. Press and hold the Active Ability button to perform a Static Blast, causing all survivors within the Doctor's Terror Radius to scream and gain increased madness. Static Blast can only be activated when not on cooldown. Static Blast immediately negates the Oblivious status effect. Okay, so definitely no no oblivious type abilities. Uh, I like that we have all of the Skull Merchant stuff already unlocked, but we're going to try to learn to use the Doctor stuff so we can get Adept. 
We got rank 2 of monitor and abuse. Terror radius increased by 8 meters while in chase. Otherwise, it's decreased by 8 meters. And your field of view is increased by 5 degrees. Let's also go with... Uh, overwhelming presence, I guess? Just knowing you're near is enough to disturb your victims. Survivors within your terror radius suffer from inefficiency. Their item consumption rates are increased by 80%. I don't know much about the add-ons. We'll take a look through those. Okay. Uh, just going with a couple of the browns for now. This increases our terror radius by 4 meters while static blast is ready. And decreases it by 4 meters while static blast is on cooldown. I think that's the one that affects people in our terror radius. So I feel like having a bigger terror radius for that's better. And then mold the electro. Increases the range of shock therapy by 2 meters. I think that's the one we can use in chase and stuff. Maybe it'll be good. I don't know. We had more, more of them. We got our survivor pudding. Probably a waste to bring it this early without even knowing how to play the doctor. Oh, let's see if we have any customized stuff. Uh, I don't see any difference between Herman Carter or Overcharged Herman Carter. Uh, I think Overcharged has a little bit extra zaps up there. Not a fan of the frosty eyes. Then we got black coat or white coat. White coat definitely seems more doctory. And then Project Awakening stick has more buzzes and zaps versus the stick. I guess we're going buzzes and zaps. And we'll pop up these charms that we've recently unlocked. And I guess let's try to find a match. Oh, that is one thing to consider. The survivors I'm up against are probably a little bit better. Well, I don't know, these are mostly prestige ones. But we've been going up against some tough teams lately. And now to try that with a new character might not be the best. We're going to the McMillan Estate. And they got rid of some of the fog, I think that one was. Alright. This will be different. But hopefully we can figure this out. I was getting ready to place a drone. But it's not me anymore. So we just need to listen for sounds of generator repairs. Oh, there's some people. I don't know what the range on this thing is. Looks like that affects the ground. Assassin's Creed. some people. I don't know what the range on this actually is. Let's wait till we're in chase. I heard a scream over here. 
Okay, they got a generator done. Makes sense. Ah! <laughs> Slows us down while we use that. Ah! There was a scream. <laughs> Lost chase. that one not to. This guy's ah! running me around pretty good. Okay. I definitely got sidetracked. Not sidetracked, but turned around. Ah! Stuck on walls and stuff. Most of the generators over there, we kind of need to go babysit, especially if I'm losing chase. Oh, there goes that one. Get this hook going. Go check on these other generators. Somebody's around here, some scratch marks. down to one generator. Okay. It's a little bit tougher. Oh! 
just make sure none of these pop. That one's not being worked on. One of these is pretty close. Probably over there. Obviously nearby. <laughs> Make everyone nice and crazy. Knock him down for can. A hook. <laughs> Got it. Go check on these generators. I never actually kicked them. too crazy. We'll need to get into another chase. Should have helped us a little bit. Let's go check on our generators. I think you're about to be done. to a hook, am I? Sure one of them came back to this generator. Okay, I couldn't work on this unit for one suit, but i but I lost Chase. Let's see if our doctor friends will help me out. Okay, there's somebody. I think the other one fixed himself. Ah! Yeah, that's fine. Oh, what did I get stuck on there? Ah! 
<laughs> okay, I thought it was fine because I thought I was going to get him. I see the other one. Trying to cleanse the totem. if he's nearby. Nope, so he's probably at this other one. Or not. He might be trying to find a escape hatch. Looks like we found it first. Now means we have to go on gate duty. Oh, I think he had to snap out of it. So he wasn't able to work on a gate anyway, if I'm not mistaken. He's hiding. Okay, it's not at that gate. He might have been nearby this other one. No. Nope. Oh, is he just going off in a corner somewhere to die? He's not trying to escape. Oh, forgot about these. We still need another glyph. Let's see if we can't find it. Thought I heard something. Time expires. Yeah, I forgot all about the glyphs. Let's see if we can't find another one somewhere. Well, not too bad. A little less information, but yeah, it doesn't count as a depth because we didn't have all three. But I'd say that worked out. Let's go ahead and spend some blood points. This ought to get us to rank 3, or not rank 3, uh, 10, so that we can unlock the third slot. Okay, so we have Calm Class 2. It increases terror radius by 6 meters while Static Blast is ready. Decreases terror radius by 6 meters while Static Blast is on cooldown. So it's the buffed up version of this one. Also, uh, survivors here... A distant illusionary terror radius when they're different madness levels. And then order class two. Uh, decreases static blast cooldown by four seconds. I think that's the big AoE one. And also broken pallets may appear to be replaced with illusionary pallets that persist until approached. A new illusionary pallet is generated at the location of a random broken pallet every 20 seconds. 
And the doctor sees the auras of illusionary pellets. I think that'll help us not get pallet stunned so much. People like to run to pallets, and they might run to an illusionary one and wait there to stun me. And if there's no pallet, then, well, hopefully. Also, this is the best we got. 75% uh, bonus in the deviousness category. We also unlocked overcharge rank two. Uh, when I kick a generator, they'll be faced with a difficult skill check when they try to repair it. And if they fail, it's an additional 3% loss of progress. Also, generators regress from 85% of normal to 130% of normal over the next 30 seconds. And we can go for Adept now. Oh, except we lost our Blood Hut bonus. Ah, oh, crap. Survivor have one. Eh, 50%. Better than nothing. 